Suppose we have an arbitrary graph. Is the empty set, the set with nothing in it, an independent set of the graph? I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing independent sets of graphs, but as you may recall, an independent set of a graph is just a subset of the vertex set such that there are no pairs of adjacent vertices in the independent set. So all the vertices are independent, so to speak. They're not adjacent to each other. So if you've worked with the empty set a bit, you might be thinking, yeah, it probably does technically fit the definition of being an independent set. And you're correct, but let's talk briefly about why. So again, what condition would a set S need to fulfill in order to be an independent set of a graph? Well, let's just assume that S is a subset of the vertex set. Then the condition that S needs to fulfill to be an independent set is this. If we take two vertices, U and V, just two arbitrary vertices from S, then they are not adjacent. So then U, V is not an edge. U and V are not joined by an edge. That's what would make S an independent set. If any pair of vertices in S are not adjacent to each other. So is the empty set an independent set of every graph? Yes. The empty set fits this definition. It fits the definition because it's basically a vacuous truth. There are not any two elements to take from the empty set. We don't have two vertices to take from the empty set, so it's never able to contradict this condition, which is what it would have to do for it to not be an independent set. So let's go through that a little more slowly. What would a set have to do to not be an independent set? Well, we would need to have two vertices, U and V, from the set so that U and V are joined by an edge, so that U and V are adjacent. That's what we would need for a set to not be an independent set. It would need a pair of adjacent vertices. Does the empty set have a pair of adjacent vertices? No, of course not. It doesn't have any vertices. So that's why, yes, I'll just put a little check. The Well, that's a terrible check, something like that. The empty set is an independent set of every graph. However, you may find some people will mention that they're excluding it from consideration because it's kind of useless, and sometimes it might be bothersome to have the empty set included when you refer to an arbitrary independent set. But just going by the letter of the law, the definition, without any other context, yes, the empty set is an independent set. We could also come to this conclusion by considering vertex covers. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson about vertex covers. It's pretty straightforward. A set of vertices is a vertex cover if every edge in the graph is incident with at least one vertex in the set. That's what makes a set a vertex cover. So if we take all vertices from a graph, we just take its entire vertex set, that will always be a vertex cover because of course, Every edge is incident with two vertices as long as we're just considering simple graphs. So if we take all the vertices, well, this will definitely cover the entire graph. And we've also proven that the complement of a vertex cover is always an independent set. I'll leave a link in the description to the lesson where we proved that. But that would mean if we, well, that would mean, so like we just said, the vertex set of a graph is a vertex cover. What's the complement of the entire vertex set? Well, that's the set of all the vertices not in the vertex set. 
but by definition, every vertex is in the vertex set. So the complement would be the empty set, and like I said, the complement of a vertex cover is always an independent set. So that means the empty set is an independent set. And we talked about the definition and why that's true. So that is the answer. Yes, indeed, the empty set is an independent set of every graph, although for convenience, you may find that people exclude it from consideration.